only to the fifth district in the city of Chicago, but, but to the state at large. You know, uh, Drew, um, you know, asked this question around every, every year we see far, far too many of our trans and gender nonconforming siblings um, being murdered without any justice. And this is a, a particular crisis um, for black uh, trans women and trans women of color. Well, what, what do you all think as you look in the community chest and as you, as you talk to leaders across the country, what, what more can we be doing to ensure uh, the safety and justice for, uh, for our, our trans community? Thanks, Brian. Uh, and thank you, Drew, uh, for your question. Uh, it's good to see you on this call. I know you've been on a, a few other uh, Team Pete calls, uh, and I love your activism. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're here, uh, and I'm glad you're here supporting Lamont. Um, you know, there's this, this sense among some people in our country, I think, um, when we're talking about bringing people along, um, that, you know, this um, uh, being trans is this like new wave thing that's just now happening. Um, and it can be scary and confusing uh, for some, um, especially those who identify as trans. Uh, and the things that we can do is try to make this world just a little bit kinder and more accepting in small ways and in big ways. So, that people who are intimidated and fearful um, or downright hateful of other people um, have to stop and think twice. The way that, you know, Brian, you and I sort of benefit from some of that privilege that um, there was a day when people, and of course there still is in, in, in many places in this country, um, wouldn't have accepted you and I in the room either. Um, and that's certainly to say that Lamont, um, you know, things are different in every community, right? And that we have all faced different struggles based on our, our, our race, our gender, uh, and how we identify even in our own community. Um, I see that, Brian, you put your pronouns uh, in your name. I throw mine up in there as well. There are little tiny things that we can do to just show the world that this is something that we care about. Um, because you know what, we're the change makers right now and we want to live in a world where we don't have to do those types of things. Well, guess what? We're the lucky generation that gets to do those things. We get to make the world better for other people. We get to stand up and show up for, you know, our trans, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, then, then we elect people like Lamont. Uh, we take it a little bit further. We elect people who are going to go to the state house or the city council or uh, the White House, wherever it is, who actually believe in the dignity of trans Americans, who don't only believe in trans Americans, um, but vocalize their support and their love of trans Americans. Um, and, and it changes things. It changes things when you put your pronouns in your profile when you say things out loud, um, when you actually live the T in the acronym, um, because everyone says LGBTQ, but if you truly support LGBTQ people, then by the virtue of the acronym, you're saying that you support trans Americans and allyship um, means supporting everyone in the acronym. And, we are just uh, we are we're we're part of the part of this moment in history. I think that's going to ask us to do the little things and ask us to do the big things, um, and and that can be um, from naming issues, repeating the issues, and making sure that the issues stay on the table, um, and and trying to be the best ally that you can. And I think if you are trying to be the best ally that you can, you have to recognize again that allyship is an action. Um, and allyship requires action and money if you have it. There are a lot of trans organizations that could really use your money as well. Um, and then live, live that value. Um, Lamont, do you wanna, do you wanna add anything? Chaston, thank you for that. Um, and I mean, you, you hit um, the ball right out of the park. Um, I think that it's 